entire libraries have been written about uh, Beethoven 9. For me, the important thing of the symphony is the line that from the first note goes uh, to the last note, to the fourth movement. This symphony starts uh, in, a, in a very strange way, starts uh, with nothing. Basically, there are just, uh, you know, the viola play the, the, the fifth, and then the violin. Nothing. Uh, it's just a, it's a chord that actually is not clear because uh, it's not major, it's not minor, it's just uh, this. It's like an empty chord. It's not even the chord of the key because the key is the minor. It would be this. No, it's this one. So it's like a symphony that starts uh, on eggs. We don't know where we are. We don't know what we are going to to listen, we don't know what to expect. And uh, through <laughs> the first, uh, you know, 40 minutes of music, uh, Beethoven expands this idea, and then he arrives uh, at the beginning of the last movement. Uh, beginning of the last movement uh, that actually, again, doesn't start very clearly, like, uh, uh, you know, with a normal chord, like, the, I don't know, you know, the eighth of Beethoven. Uh, very simple, uh, you know, or the fifth, uh, or the third. Uh. No, this starts with this. This is not a clear chord. And then a few bars later, this is not a clear chord. So again, it's trying to reach for something, to to find something, and the words say exactly this: "Offering the niche is eternal." Friends, let's not play. Let's not uh, use this word. Let's just find something different. And uh, the wonderful thing uh, that then he finds it, and this. Uh, is a very simple theme, but is like a line. They never stop. Just imagine like a, like a serpent, you know, like a snake. They start to go left, right, left, right, become longer and longer and longer and longer and never stops. Now we are used to, to, to hear, uh, you know, this uh, in, the, in the commercials or, uh, you know, bah, 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 bah. but the beginning, uh, this is the development that actually is not written like this because it should be much more legato. But, is a, but the development it starts from nothing, really from, from, a, from a little seed from which then a wonderful ox comes through. And this is a, what for me is the novelty of this piece. And uh, all this uh, uns uh, harmonic uncertainty that, that, that I was saying, you know, the, the first movement starting with, uh, with nothing. And uh, also the third movement, uh, you know, you start... Uh, and only now resolves. Uh, again, it's not immediately something that is defined. It doesn't start like this. No, Beethoven put something saying, we are not yet there. Is a, is a progression. And I think that if we keep this idea in mind all through the Sinfonia, then when we find, finally, the theme of the fourth movement, it's like a moment of liberation. You know, sometimes you see in some nature documentary, from the seed to the tree in 15 seconds. Imagine this in 20 minutes, and at the end become a tree that stands the time. This for me is the great thing of the symphony.